Welcome back to Weather Underground. A little naked earth for you. The President of the United States is in Alaska right now. He'll speak about climate change later tonight. And above the Arctic Circle, the residents of one island are losing their homes to warming Arctic Sea. Our Dave Malkoff shows us. Welcome aboard. Only tiny cargo planes can land down there on that island called Kivalina. Above the Arctic Circle. The 400 Americans who live here could soon become this nation's first climate change refugees. Basically, that is what we would be, refugees. Winter storms are literally eating the village alive. Crashing ocean waves are eroding the island, once protected by huge chunks of sea ice. It's like a buffer. Oh. And now it's into the winters where we get rain in January. When it used to be minus 30, minus 40, minus 50. Meet Colleen Swan. In recent years, she's become kind of the voice of Kivalina. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if everyone were related in this village. The kids and their parents live off the land, very much like their ancestors did. That's how we survive in the Arctic. You eat what, you, what survives up here. But now their entire way of life is changing as politicians in Washington debate if climate change is real. There was never a debate. You know, we just saw these changes happening and... Sad thing. Colleen's dad has lived here for 80 years. His hunting grounds used to be out there on the solid blocks of ice during the winter. Everything is gone. The ocean is empty like. As recently as the 1970s and 80s, village elders remember the winter Arctic sea ice growing to 10 feet in thickness. But this past year, it came down to three feet not thick enough to hunt on and not thick enough to protect the village either. The climate change has caused so much problem. But it's not just the village elders saying that, it's actually the federal government. A congressional audit and the Army Corps of Engineers have identified four Alaskan villages in dire need of immediate relocation. They specifically say climate change is the problem here and have started to spend millions to protect this place. The Corps sent this rock that came from Nome. For now, the big rock wall is holding just barely. plan is actually to move the entire ancient community. We have to keep our lifestyle alive. With less ice to protect them and less food to sustain them, even the berries they pick are changing. Everything has changed. How we, how we gather our food, all of it has changed. They've ripened a lot earlier than we expected. We just adapted to those changes because they were subtle. But now the Arctic Ocean is quickly melting away the only life they've known. Shelter from the storm is just two and a half miles that way, but moving everybody is expensive and difficult here 80 miles above the Arctic Circle. In Kivalina, Alaska, Dave Malakoff, The Weather Channel. You, you look at this village, Carl, and you think about the real world impacts mm. here from the extent of the ice to how they hunt, to how they pick berries, to the number and frequency and potency of storms that they have to deal with now. Everything is happening so fast, and the Arctic is warming twice as fast as any other place. And you've got a lot of different things that are converging up there. You've got sea level rise, not just because of melting ice, but also because of thermal expansion, because the water is actually getting warmer. You've got the permafrost melting, and the ground is slumping as a result of that. And then you've got no sea ice to protect them from crashing waves. And on top of all of that, we've seen all these typhoons in recent years, these really strong storms in the western Pacific that curve around, come up into the northern Pacific, where the water is warmer, so they're staying stronger longer, and they are getting walloped by these incredibly strong storms there in Alaska, and that, too, is raising the danger for them. And so there are 213 native villages there in Alaska, and 178 of those 213 have experienced severe flooding in the last couple of years. It's amazing to just see that perspective, because so many people don't know what what's happening. Hey, it's Dave. Just one more second. That story you just watched is actually part of a larger 4K Ultra HD documentary on what's going on in Alaska. You're in luck. You can watch it right now by clicking this button. And since you're watching on YouTube, you can see it in that stunning 4K Ultra HD quality. Hey, if you're new to the channel, 
Welcome on in. I'd love you to subscribe. If you just hit this button, you can see all of my reports from the last 20 years or so. So I have hundreds of videos on here on hundreds of different topics. Thanks for watching and hopefully you can subscribe by clicking here in the documentary. Of course, you can click here to watch that.